more than a thousand years passed between the creation of the Sphinx and the carving of the Dream Stela of King Thutmose IV. The older of the two monuments is the Sphinx. It was carved from a natural limestone outcrop during the reign of King Khafre, the third pharaoh of the fourth dynasty. Khafre was the son of King Khufu, who's best known for building the Great Pyramid nearby. He built a lower or valley temple to the south of the Sphinx. You can see that here on the left of the screen. But he never quite finished the Sphinx temple, which lies in front of the Sphinx's paws to the right or east. The Sphinx represents a crouching beast with lion body and human head, which is a symbol of kingship. The monument is meant to be seen as a guardian of the Giza cemetery. When Thutmose IV created the Dream Stela you see here, the Egyptians associated the Sphinx with aspects of the sun god. It therefore bore the divine names hor em which means Horus in the horizon, and kepri re atum which refers to the morning, daytime, and evening forms of the sun.